On today's episode, IBM launches a fraud-fighting chip and the outer space threat to quantum computers. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Industry stalwart IBM have announced a new integrated circuit with a difference. The company's upcoming Telum processor is designed for a special application, transaction fraud. Now, according to IBM, the new processor is their first that uses on-chip acceleration for AI inferencing while a transaction is taking place. Current systems use detection techniques that catch fraud after it occurs, and due to latency, requirements are very sophisticated, and fraud detection frequently can't happen in real time. For example, criminals may successfully purchase goods with a stolen credit card before the transaction can be flagged or stopped. The Telum chip contains eight 5 GHz processor cores with a new cache and chip interconnection infrastructure that allows systems that can be scaled to 32 Telum chips. Like all modern integrated circuit technology, the stats are almost inconceivable. 22 billion transistors and 19 miles of wire arranged on 17 metal layers. The chip is one of a new generation of integrated circuits that are optimized for specific tasks demanded by economic activity in the cloud. IBM designed the chip for AI-specific workloads, including fraud detection, loan processing, clearing and settlement of trades, anti-money laundering, and risk analysis. While helpful for detecting fraud, the system may also be used to create real-time credit approval processes and use AI to modify or optimize settlement processes with minimal latency. The market potential for the new device is huge. According to the Federal Trade Commission, in 2020, consumers reported $3.3 billion in losses to fraud, up from $1.8 billion in 2019. If you like this show, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for our next episode. Quantum computing promises to create devices with problem-solving capabilities that are orders of magnitude better than the fastest supercomputers of today. Now, while the payoff is considerable, engineering quantum computers, well, it's extraordinarily difficult. They operate at cryogenic temperatures and in quantum realms where conventional material science and traditional binary logic simply don't apply. A major problem is error correction. So far, quantum computing is severely constrained by the need to detect and correct errors in real time, but new research by a large team suggests that there is a new and previously unforeseen cause for quantum computing errors and how quantum circuits react to them. The team built a quantum testbed device and discovered an unusual property. Fluctuations in the electrical charge of multiple quantum bits or qubits, the fundamental unit of quantum computers, well, they're not random and independent. If a random burst of energy enters from outside the system, it affects every qubit in the vicinity of that event simultaneously, a phenomenon the team calls correlation. This creates errors that can instantly span the entire system. Now, previous error correction techniques have assumed that errors can be tracked to a point source, but the new theory suggests that the entire system can be simultaneously disrupted, complicating the error correction process. Just as interesting in the analysis is the discovery of the source of many errors, gamma radiation from cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are highly energetic atomic nuclei that come from multiple sources outside our solar system. Most are deflected by the Earth's magnetic field, but some get through and on heating the atmosphere create a secondary emission of other particles the scientists call an air shower. These charged particles have been known to create errors in conventional integrated circuit electronics. In 1990, an IBM study showed that conventional computers experienced one cosmic ray-induced error per 256 megabytes of RAM per month on average. Error-correcting code memory was developed to address this issue, but the unusual behavior of quantum state devices, namely correlation, makes the radiation challenge much more difficult to solve. Six inches or more of dense radiation shielding might prove to be the easiest technique to mitigate cosmic ray-induced errors in quantum computers, but some particles are highly energetic and it's unlikely that a truly radiation-proof processor will be developed anytime soon. Error detection and correlation through software will be with us for a long time to come. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit Engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future and Designing the Future, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.